Hi everyone, as you remember a couple of months ago, I test drove an M2 competition. You can see the uh, link to the video right above. I absolutely love the car. And when I had the two cars, this one and the M2 competition side by side, the M2 just looked so much more aggressive. I couldn't put my finger on it when I was there, but then as I was editing the video, it dawned on me what it was. It was the fact that the grill was that new design grill that BMW has been uh, using in the recent models. And the new design basically, you still have the kidney gr grills, but they touch in the middle. Now, I can't really make a retrofit grill for, uh, for this car to make it touch in the middle, but we could cheat a little bit and uh, <laughs> use some vinyl and maybe <laughs> give the front end uh, that, uh, that look. I just thought of it, I haven't done it yet. I did some photoshopping and it looks great. But today what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna give it a try to see if a strip of vinyl could do the trick. If I like it, I'm gonna leave it. And uh, if I do leave it, I will look forward to, uh, to your comments of how you feel about it. So uh, let's take it away. So I've, I've been experimenting with a couple of different vinyls. Uh, there are two that come very close. The first one is this gloss uh, black vinyl, but I think it's just too glossy. It's got a bit of a sparkle in it and the grill does not have a sparkle. Then I have this satin finish, which I think will probably do the trick uh, the most because the insides of the grill are satin finished. So I think uh, that'll probably look the best. And honestly, I don't think it matters really if it's really, really glossy or satin, as long as there's a continuation of black. It should be uh, it should be good. But anyway, I'm gonna link uh, this and uh, the other vinyls that I've used down uh, below, so you can uh, do this yourself in case you uh, you're inclined to do so. Okay, so there are many ways of doing it. I'm gonna use this cutting tape uh, just to give it an outline, uh, but also you'll be able to cut it maybe with scissors. Uh, but there's a specific shape that I'm going after. Uh, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this area with alcohol for proper adhesion. So the M2 doesn't just go straight. There's a line that it flows down, then it comes across. Same thing here, it goes up and it just flows across. So I'm gonna try to mimic the same thing with this tape. Again, it might not work, but it's worth a try. So I created that little U and then I'm going to do the same thing below. Next, we're going to grab some vinyl and roughly cut to size. And it should be as simple as just putting it in the middle, working the edges in. I should potentially be using a blow dryer. I'm going to work it in. So how do people use this cutting tape? Ugh. Oh, wow. Huh, look at this. Can you believe how well it works? Huh. <laughs> I did not expect it to work this well. <laughs> it's amazing how well it works. And then you remove the back residue. And then the moment of truth, let's see. Look at this bottom cut. Yes, it'll probably get redone. But as a first take, And now we're going to use a knife to cut along the edge of the grill. Uh, my hands are shaky. Okay, so this is the first time you're seeing it, which is the first time I'm seeing it. Obviously, it needs to be redone because I think uh, obviously the arches are way, way too sharp and they're not even. And, uh, but yeah, directionally, I think this looks pretty good. I can't believe this. Let me take you on this journey. <sighs> okay. Not enough of an arch. All right, and there you have it. This is the semi-final product. I am going to play with it a little bit more uh, in the garage once it gets warmer, maybe this evening, but directionally, this is what it's going to look like. And if you ask me, I'm actually very happy with the way it came out. Uh, look at it. It's very similar to the M2 competition grill, 
but it's also very similar to everything that BMW is doing. Come on, focus. There we go. So <laughs> I don't know. It just looks uh, it looks meaner, and I kind of like it from many different angles. It just looks cool. What I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna take the grills off and do it the proper way, and it's actually gonna make my job a lot easier. But <laughs> look at it. I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy. If you want to rice out your B sorry so there you go if you want to enhance the look of your bmw m3 to match the current grill generation this is how you do it let me know what you think about it i've been actually driving with this for a couple of days i absolutely love it i am going to be uh doing a couple of mods that will complement this look so stay tuned for that but again let me know down below what you think about it if you liked it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye